Hey, what's going on guys? This is Just Mitchell. Hey, today's video, make sure that's on. Hey, today's video I want to talk about why women test men and how to handle it. So I've got some bullet points in front of me just to make sure that I cover everything in this video. Uh, but you guys got to understand, okay, women are going to test you over everything and anything and they're always going to do it. The more that they love you, the less they're going to test you, but they're always going to test you. And that is because a woman wants to know that the man that they're with is an actual man and that they're not going to be somebody that the woman can just boss around and get whatever she wants. She wants a man that's going to stand up to her. She wants a man that's going to protect her. She wants a man that she can feel emotionally safe with, physically safe with. She's going to do things to make sure that you stand up to her criteria of what she wants as a man, okay? So then that's why that's why women do it okay women will start arguments with you women will say shit to you that will like art that will like upset you and and then you shouldn't be upset in the first place okay women or men who understand women don't argue with them all right as hard as that one is as hard as that and that's because women act based on how they feel in the moment i keep touching the camera because it, i don't like the way it's like it's pointing this way and i want it more centered <laughs> so so a couple a couple ways that women will test you. So like if you're in like the initial dating phase, for example, uh, if you're like in the initial dating phase, if a woman, for example, tries to plan like a maybe date, so she says like, yeah, I'll definitely go out on a date with you, but then she doesn't get, or if she plans a date, let me rephrase that. If she plans a date with you and then says, hey, give me a call, just give me a call later so I can make sure that we're doing this, or if it's give me a call back to confirm, that more than likely means she's going to give you an excuse, she's going to cancel the date, and you need to say, hey, listen, I'm only going to plan a date with you if I know for a fact that you're going to be there. Not in this maybe bullshit. So if that doesn't work out, then let's plan another time. And then if she plans, if she reschedules with a specific date, you passed her test because she wanted to know if she could just boss you around and get rid of you that easily. All right? Another way that a woman's going to test you is if... Um, if you make plans, so you made set plans, and then she tries to change the plans. If she tries to change it into something that is not better than what it is that you had planned, you need to tell her no. Okay, so if you want to go to this bar, but she's like, well, I want to go to this restaurant, then you need to say, look, listen, I will take you to that restaurant after we have a good time at this bar, but I made plans to go to this bar with you. I want to meet you there first and see where this goes. Then we can go to that restaurant if things escalate from there. That is her way of testing to make sure that you are going to stand firm to your decision. Um, other ways a woman will test you um, is if, let's say you guys are arguing, okay? If you guys are arguing, women want to feel heard and understood. So if you guys are arguing and she starts getting angry, she wants to know that if you get up, and listen, I, I've failed at this one before, okay? So a lot of this is going to base, be based on how you were raised from your parents. So if you didn't have a dad in your life, this is going to be very difficult to do. Um, but if a woman starts arguing with you and just starting being bitchy and yelling and screaming and um, saying mean things to you, it's your job as a man to be her mountain, okay? You have to be be playful. Oh, baby, is something wrong with you? Oh, what's going on, honey? Oh, you're so mad right now. Oh, you're so fucking cute when you're angry, right? Because women, women are going to act on that. Women will act based on how they feel in that moment. So like 10 minutes later, she might be happy, but if she's angry with you and you're not getting upset back at her and you're trying to understand why she's angry by asking her questions, like, hey, listen, I, you're acting, you seem a little angry right now. What's going on? Talk to me. Hey, come on, tell me, right? If, when you do that and you get her to open up, she's going to feel heard and understood and you can look at that argument as a test of, hey, is my man paying attention to me? Does he care enough about me to get the information out of me, okay? Women will do things to try to provoke you to do something because they want to know that you care. Um, and that could be anything, right? They could, they could cause a fight. They could break something. They could cancel a date. If they cancel a date on you and are already dating, um, that, that can go a couple of different ways. You can say, listen, we already had a date plan and you're canceling last minute. That's not cool. I don't appreciate that. Um, and she might, so you, then you need to tell her, like, listen, I need you to uh, get your shit together because I told you to be ready by seven and we're still going on to this date. Um, now, let's go ahead and look at my key points, okay? Uh, again, so key points I have is psychology behind testing, you know, examples of common tests. I'm just giving you random examples of things that, like, women would do. Oh, another one. Women, 
And this is especially like if you're in the new, like if you're brand new, like if you guys aren't dating yet, or you're not in a relationship, but you guys are trying to date, she's interested in you, you're interested in her, and that she's going to, you guys might hang out like a couple times and then she's going to pull back. She's going to pull back because she might be testing you to see if you are going to be like every other guy that she's probably dealt with. And that's showing needy, insecure behavior by chasing her, by texting her, calling her, double texting, triple texting, calling her all the time, wondering if you're on good terms with her. As long as you give that woman space and you let her come back to you. Now, granted, if it's like the first date, then it's your job to, to set up a second date. But once she starts coming to you, once she starts chasing you, if she pulls back, she wants to know that you're not going to be bothered by her taking time and space to herself. So something I struggled with until I learned that this is mandatory in relation to dating is it's almost like both parties are playing a fucking game all the time. She's going to do shit that's going to upset you and then you got to be okay with her doing that and you got to show her that it doesn't bother you and you're going to either you're you know you want her in your life but you don't need her in her life women scientifically proven that women are more attracted to men who are uncertain about their feelings okay so if a woman's always if a woman thinks that she likes you more than you like her then you more than likely will never have to worry about her leaving you, okay? That's where you want to be is always one step behind her so that way she's chasing you because if a woman's chasing you, she can't be getting rid of you. And when she tests you by doing different things, by trying to see if you're actually a man that you are, then you're likely passing her test and she's going to stay in your life and she's going to be more attracted to you. And if she loves you, women won't break up with a guy that they're in love with. Normal, healthy women won't do that. So it takes time for her to fall in love. It takes time for her to fall out of love, okay? So these different tests then, um, depending on the woman, depending on the woman, if you tell a woman that you're going to do something, you better do it. Because if you tell her that you're going to do something and then you don't do it, you're showing her that she can't trust you and that you don't care enough about her to do the thing that you said you were going to do. This is especially, um, this is especially true when it comes to people that have like trust issues. So if you know anything about like uh, attachment styles, avoidance, who rely on themselves because their parents basically taught them that they can't rely on their parents, these people would usually have like trust issues and you have to prove to them like, listen, if you say you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it. So I pride myself on that. If I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I've always been that way, okay? Now, um, so, these, these bullets I have, they're not very good, so I'm going to keep talking to the camera then, okay? What are some other ways that women can test you? So we, we've, we've covered uh, needing space, wanting to know if you still care about her, um, trusting you. Uh, let's, let's talk about if a woman, I, I don't know, man, it's really, hard, it's really hard to say when a woman's testing you and when she's not testing you, okay? Because it almost seems like everything a woman does could be testing you at some point in time. So if you're going out with the boys... For, and you're going, out, you're going out with the boys for a night out and then you come home a little later and she's like pissed off because she hasn't heard from you. Well, at that point in time, she's pissed off. She's probably going to start a fight. You're going to have to pry that information out of her because women process feelings and emotions by talking about them. Normal women do, okay? Healthy women do that. And so by you talking to her, explaining that you were just out having a good time with your boys, that you love her, that you're so excited that you're coming back to her or coming home to her, that you, you, know, you missed her, showing her that she's you're showing her that she's the queen in your life is what's gonna make her feel like heard and understood. Never prioritize a woman, okay? I've I, I've made this mistake in the past where if you don't have a whole lot going on in your life and that woman is like your pride and joy and you value her over everything else, that's going to cause a lot of issues down the road. Women don't want to be the center of your attention. They want to be part of your life. They don't want to be your life, okay? I have to say that one because that, that might sound obvious, but it's so, dude, it's crazy how many men will pedestalize this woman that typically comes from like insecure and needy behaviors. And so I'm somebody that I, I'm not afraid to admit that I have like anxious tendencies, you know, and it's caused problems in the past. And so the easiest way to do that is to not make a woman your priority. Well, you gotta learn infinite patience. And so if that's if you set up a date with a woman, don't talk to her until you see her at that date, okay? Because if you keep texting a woman, she's gonna get bored of you, she's gonna figure you out, and she's not gonna follow through with your plans. So that's a little different than testing right here, but I think that's an area that we need to cover as well. You know, you always want to use the phone to set up like dates and never like never text back and forth all day long. Women 
need to think about you. They need to talk to their girlfriends, their family, their, their mom, sister, fucking anybody. They need to talk to whoever about you because if they start missing you and start talking about you, they're going to feel more things about you and they don't get the chance to miss you and to think about you if you're constantly in front of them. And I've been that guy where I have texted my ex-girlfriends like all the time. I, I didn't know any better. I didn't know how attraction worked back then. And I'm the type of person where I love communicating with people. And so if I have somebody to talk to, I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. But then when you start studying laws of attraction between men and women, you understand that when you're constantly texting somebody, you're showing her that you're always available so that you must not be doing much. And not only that, because you're always available, you're always talking to her, you're always wanting to see her. She's going to start thinking like, man, this guy really is wrapped up around me and I don't really have any like breathing room right now. Like, doesn't he have other things that he wants to go and do other than just see me? That's what it's going to come off as, even though like I work from home so I can sit here and text you all day long and work at the same time. <laughs> but that's the problem, even though and I'm in a wheelchair. So like I always need my phone on me. I always have my phone on me because God forbid if I fall and I can't get back up, I'm going to need to call somebody to come and help me up. Right. So I always have my phone on me. So even though it sits next to me, you still need to focus on like other things. OK, a masculine man has. His job is like to go out and pursue his purpose, accomplish his goals, break through barriers, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The woman's job is to build the bond and the relate. Well, I say the woman, the feminine qualities is to build the bond, build the relationships, nurture the family, bring them together, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So if you're always in her face, then you could look at that as a way of, of testing her. Okay. If you're always talking to her and she pulls back, if she stops texting you, if she starts sending shorter texts, she stops texting you as much. She stops calling you as much. She calls you maybe once a week instead of three times a week. Uh, she makes planning dates with you harder. She's pulling back. And if you're not aware that when a woman does this, that you need to pull back, then you're gonna, you're more than likely gonna end up getting hurt. And that's unfortunately, I had to learn that the hard way. That wasn't the reason why, but I can look at my relationships and say like, you know what? That probably contributed to the breakups when that happened, okay? And so, in that area then, that can be looked at as, as a test. The woman wants to know that if she pulls away, that you're going to be okay with her taking space to come back to you when she wants. So in that way, in that self, you could, that could still be like a test, okay? Women are going to test you guys in different ways. And unfortunately, like I said, there's nothing you can do about it. They do this without even thinking about it. And as guys, you know, we're logical creatures. We're like, well, if they know if they know that we love them, we're not going anywhere, and that we're always going to come back to them, we're going to care for them and love them, why would they need to be testing us? Unfortunately, women are estrogen based creatures. So they are going to act on how they feel no matter what. So if a woman, uh, if a woman feels happy around you and she loves you, she's going to test you less. But if a woman compares you with like anger, sadness, or like boringness, or like every other guy that doesn't excite her, she's going to test you more because what she's trying to do is feel something different about you that she likes that these other guys aren't able to give her. And that could be, like I said, in various forms, whether you're going to be emotionally safe for her, whether you're going to show her that you care for her, that you love her, um, whether that's going to be you, you, you can protect her emotionally, physically, that you're not looking for anybody else, that you're like, like you're, she's your queen, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Fortunately, there's no like straight answers into how a woman's going to test you. Just know that no matter what happens, you always want to make sure that she feels heard and understood and she feels loved. So if a woman gets angry at you and starts talking to you, you need to ask her questions to figure out why she's angry, if it has anything to do with you, and if it does. Remember, you never want to fix something. Women more than likely already have the answer, but women... Women will talk about their problems because talking about a problem makes them feel better. All right. So guys will naturally try to fix things because that's what we want to do is fix things. You cannot offer to fix something unless the woman asks for it. So you, if you're, if you're unsure, say, Hey babe, are you wanting my opinion or do you want me to just listen? Likely she's going to tell you that she just wants you to listen. Or in my case, I've been told before, hey, can I have your opinion on something? Yeah, absolutely. What is it? 
that's when you can give an opinion and that's when you can help fix her problem because she doesn't know more than likely which way she should go because she's confused on, on, on that path to take. But if a woman you know, gets angry at you, it's your job to ask your questions. Well, what do you mean by this? Like, hey, well, tell me about this. All right, well, make sure, like, listen, tell me what's going on and, you know, make sure that you don't leave anything out because I really want to understand you and make sure that we're on the same page because if something's bothering you, I want to know about it so we can come down to a conclusion together and we can move on from this. If I hurt you, I, I'm sure I didn't mean to, but if I did, I want to know about it so I can not do that again. All right, that's going to make her feel heard and understood. You're going to pass her test. You're going to show her that you care. So that's going to be the video, guys, about women, about passing tests and, you know, why women test men and how to handle it. Okay, make sure that no matter what happens, you never, ever, ever want to argue with a woman. That's going to take some practice. <laughs> and you want to make sure that you can, you can practice um, emotional control. You do not want to freak out, overreact, etc., because feminine energy is chaos. That's where the woman gets angry, starts yelling, freaks out, etc. Masculine energy is calm and collected. Okay. If you're not used to being calm and collected, like I, you know, like I said, growing up with me, uh, I, I had parents that like fought all the time. So that's what I know how to do. It takes a lot of conscious effort in that moment to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax. I'm not gonna freak out, and it's gonna take some practice. But that's gonna be the video, guys. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have any questions, you want to talk about anything, or maybe you have different ways that women test you that I didn't know about, leave them in the comments down below so that way I can read them and that other people can read them in the future as well. That being said, guys, I'll see you soon.